Hello everyone, I made a new series for MRCS OSCE history stations. It will be stations that usually come on your exam. It will be recorded between a doctor and a patient. I will be the doctor and the patient at the same time. And also what I'm going to say will be written on the screen. Enjoy. MRCS Part B history station, infected pseudoaneurysm. Scenario referred from a GP as a growing abscess. Hello, I'm Ali Babiker, one of the surgical doctors working here. May I confirm your name and age, please? Hi, doctor. My name is John. I'm 45 years old. Nice to meet you, Mr. John. I will be your doctor for today. I want to ask you a few questions regarding your condition. Are you okay with this? Yes, doctor. That's fine. How can I help you, Mr. John? I have this lump in my left thigh. I'm so sorry to hear that. Where exactly is the lump located, Mr. John? It's here on the top of my left thigh. I see. When did you first notice that lump? Five days ago. Did it start suddenly or gradually? I'm not sure, doctor. Does it come and go? No, it does not go away. Had this changed recently? Yes, it's getting bigger in the last two days. Is there any specific time during the day that the lump increased in size? No, it's the same throughout the day and getting bigger day after day. Is there anything that makes the lump increase in size? Yes, time does. Is there anything that makes the lump decrease in size? No. Is it painful, Mr. John? Yes, sorry to hear that. Where did you feel that pain? Over the lump, doctor. Could you please point to the side? Here, over the lump. Does it move anywhere? No. When did you first notice that pain, Mr. John? Five days ago. Did it start suddenly or gradually? Gradually. Does it come and go? No, it's always there. Had this changed recently? No. Is there any specific time during the day that the lump, that the pain increased? No. Is there anything that makes this pain stops? No. Is there anything that makes that pain increase? Yes, when I move. Could you please describe that pain for me? Is it colicky cramping or stabbing? It's burning sensation, doctor. How badly is this pain affecting your day-to-day -day life? Badly. I can't live my life. If you had to rate your pain from 0 to 10, with 10 being the worst pain you can, you can imagine, how would you rate it? Around 9. That must be hard, yes. Did you notice any blood coming out from the swelling? Yes, I think so. Did you have any recent injection or trauma in your growing? Yes, I usually inject my thighs. Do you feel that this swelling is Peating or pulsatile? Yes, it's peating. Do you feel any limb pain or coldness or color change or limb swelling? My leg sometimes becomes pale. Do you have any limb numbness? No. Have you been ill or have a fever? Yes, I have had a fever for the last two days. Is there a wound or sore over the lump? No. How has your appetite been? It's well. Have you noticed any unintentional weight loss? No, my weight stays the same. If there is if there is straining while passing stool or urine, no. Have you noticed that the lump increases with straining while passing urine or stool or with cuff? No. Have you noticed that the lump decreases in size when you lie down? No. Have you noticed redness or hotness in the overlying skin? Yes, sometimes. Have you noticed that the lump decreases in size even with lying down? No. Do you have tummy pain? No. Do you throw up? No. Do you have distension or plotting? No. Okay, Mr. John. Do you have any other medical condition? No. Have you ever had surgeries? No, I didn't. Do you take any medications? No. Do you have any allergies to any drug? Yes, I'm allergic to penicillin. 
Do you mind if I ask personal questions? That's fine, doctor. What is your occupation? I'm unemployed, unfortunately. I understand. Who is at home with you? I live alone. Do you have any difficulty with the stairs? No. Do you smoke? Yes. How many bucks per day? Two bucks a day. Do you drink alcohol? Yes. How many units per week? Around 16 units a week. Is there anyone else in the family who has had a similar problem? No one I'm aware of. Before I go any further, could I ask what do you think the cause is? I have no idea. What are you the most concerned about? Losing my leg. Don't worry Mr. John, we will do our best so you can return to your normal life soon. What are you hoping what are you hoping for us to do for you? Fix me and relieve the pain, please. Any muscle or joint pain? No. Any problem with urination? No. Any chest pain? No. Any shortness of press? No. Anything else you want to add, Mr. John? No, thank you, doctor. Thank you, Mr. John, for your cooperation. I will discuss this with my senior and get back to you shortly. Then you will have three minutes for the discussion. The first question will be asked by the consultant is to present your patient. So make sure you practice every clinical scenario because this will be the first impression of the consultant. Present your patient. I took a clinical history from this gentleman, Mr. John, 45 years old, who is referred to us as a growing abscess. He complained of progressive painful lump in his left thigh for 5 days. The lump is pulsatile and discharged plus sometimes. He is allergic to penicillin, he drinks alcohol, smokes cigarettes and, inject, and self injects drugs. He has no weight loss or family history of similar condition. No symptoms suggestive of hernia. How will you investigate your patient? I will do the following. Duplex ultrasonography, CT and geography. How will you treat your patient? I will discuss the patient history, examination and investigation in a multidisciplinary team. Then the treatment choices are ligation of the involved artery with delayed revascularization, non-operative treatment include duplex ultrasound, guided compression and percutan with thrombin injection. Define pseudoaneurysm, a collection of blood that form between the two outer layers of an artery, the tonica media and tonica adventitia. It's usually caused by a penetrating injury to the vessel, which he then bleeds, but forms a space between the above two layers, rather than exiting the vessel. It may be versatile and can resemble a true aneurysm. Define a true aneurysm. True aneurysm involves all three layers of the blood vessel. Thank you. Thank you. I intentionally left a very important information in the presentation of this case. So I challenge you to figure it out. And if we missed any important thing in this presentation, you can post it in the comment. I will be following up the comments and I'm gonna add the information that I missed intentionally after five days. Thank you and good luck with your exam.